want to present to you today something better than cussing. Uh, a lot of people out there seem to think that uh, using profanity makes them tough, makes them a strong man. I'll tell you, you know, I see the WTF thing all the time. You know, I'm a, I'm a Christian, but I still write WTF on my video, you know, and I can say it. You know, somebody comes on my property, I say, hey, what the bleep? You know, hey, man. And you use profanity, and that somehow makes you tough. Well, that's, uh, <clears throat> if you look at that thing scientifically, it's demonstrably false. How so? Well, um, can anybody use it? Yes. Anybody out there can use profanity. Um, I've seen some rather skinny, anemic-looking little uh, brute beasts, and they use profanity. I've seen little children use profanity. So obviously using profanity does not make one tough. Does not make you have great character or whatever else. Um, <clears throat> I would say it's actually the opposite of that. I don't think there are many people that would argue against the point of saying that profanity is the very lowest form of the English language. Profanity is not something that high people of noble birth use. People of high noble birth, at least in the past when people still had brains, um, they didn't use profanity. And when people, when I was growing up, they'd say, oh, excuse my French, if they would use a profanity word, which I don't know why they ever said that. Maybe, I guess, maybe French, some of the words are de derived from the French language, or I don't know. But uh, it's not a mark of high character using profanity. Um, <clears throat> and in reality, if you want to show that you are an intelligent individual, you'd be better off coming up with creative insults. I remember reading a book about uh, Theodore Roosevelt, and they said that he mastered the um, art of creative insults with people, that he would come up with some very unique, colorful ways to explain things about people. A lot of the guys back in the 1800s were like that. Um, you know, I remember, uh, I think it was, um, Billy Sunday, uh, I think it was, he called a guy an old lobster the one time from the pulpit. Um, one called him a, a suck, suck egg hound or something. I mean, some of these really insulting things that they would say. And um, <clears throat> that takes some creativity. And uh, if you want to go even further than that, try to uh, be kind to an enemy. And you can basically you know, from a, a manipulative way, in other words. Um, they come along and they say, hey, I'm offended at what you're doing. You say, oh, I'm so sorry. What do you mean? Well, exactly what do you mean by that? Uh, I've done that with people. You know, you know, the King James Bible has lots of errors in it. Oh, it does? Really? Um, where? You know. <laughs> well, it, it says this and that. Uh, I know that it says, uh, I'm pretty sure somewhere in the Bible it says such and such. It does? Really? I never knew that, even though I know where it's at and whatever what they're trying to say is a contradiction. And I'll just play stupid. Really? Wow, that's really something. Where's that verse at again? And then watch them struggle and they, you know, oh, well, uh, I, I couldn't turn to the exact thing. Then how do you know it's a contradiction? You know, and you can do that, answering the full according to their folly, lest they be wise in their own conceit. Uh, there's a lot of intellectual ways, in other words, to corner somebody and to put someone down if that's really what you need to do. And there's sometimes that that's what you have to do. Sometimes you should be loving. You should let, you know, somebody yell at you and scream at you and whatever else. There's no reason to get in a fight with them. Sure. But there are some times that somebody has to be put in their place and you don't do it with profanity. Um, profanity is something that is a, a very horrible, vulgar thing to do. I just can't stand that. And it goes to another thing, which I've seen on YouTube quite a bit. I've seen professing Christian channels, and these professing Christian channels, they'll use profanity. Well, I'm a Christian. You better believe I'm a Christian, but I'll tell the, I told this guy, he came in, I said to him, such and such, I said, hey, step off, buddy. Let me tell you something, and, you know, and all this tough talk and things. And, and I told him, you know, I can't use this kind of language on camera, but, you know, I basically told the guy where to get off and I told him to go, you know, himself and uh, and these same channels then will turn around and they'll say, you know, now, you know, however you feel about this, I myself, I believe in Jesus. You don't have to, you don't have to. 
Um, but for me personally, I, I believe that Jesus is, you know, he's God and I believe he died on the cross for my sins. Now, now I'm not trying to push my belief on anybody else. And I think, wait a second. So you're tough enough to use profanity. You'll use profanity in your video, but then you're not tough enough to stand for Jesus Christ or to stand for the King James Bible or to say other things that are controversial. You know? You won't say queers or sodomites or things like that. Oh, well, I could, I could get in trouble for that. But you'll use profanity. I don't understand that. I really don't. I mean, I realize I'm very backward and everything else, you know, people say that. But uh, I believe in being very insulting in the way I speak about certain things that I, that I know are wrong. And I don't need profanity to do that. Uh, you say, well, did you ever use profanity, Brother Brian? Yes, I did. Back as a teenager. <laughs> but uh, when, when I was a child, uh, I spake as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. Uh, using profanity is a very childish thing to do. Very childish indeed. I'm going to say a dirty word. Ooh, you know, ooh, I said a dirty word. <laughs> you know, I'm going, to, I'm going to cuss somebody out. Uh, uh, look at me. I remember when I was a boy, you know, uh, in school and uh, as a little child, you know, a little stupid lost kid that I was. We'd look up dirty words, you know, in the dictionary and I'd, you look up a word and, you know, point it out to another child. And, you know, I'm talking elementary school. I'm not talking high school or something like that. <laughs> uh, but I'm saying as a really little child, you know, you look up a, a dirty word. Oh, no, look at this dirty word. Uh, a lot of adults act like that. Look at me. I can say a dirty word. I can say a, a filthy cuss word. I'll cuss somebody out. You know? Yeah, because you're a child. You're a stupid little child. A very low birth. If you're an adult and you're using a lot of profanity, get that stuff out of your language. Come up with more creative ways to insult people. And most of all, stand up for Jesus Christ, you stinking coward. Are you a Christian, are you? Then stand up for the one who uh, saved you, the one who died naked on a cross up there, dying in a, a horrible, uh, painful death, agony, shedding all of his blood, and you're too big of a coward to speak his name publicly, to put his name out there in a video, make apologies for it. Well, I said about Jesus, yeah, but then you apologize for it. Hey, I don't want to offend anybody by uh, saying this name. I don't want to offend anybody. You know, I don't want to say anything about these new versions that come from the Vatican. I don't want to say anything against Catholics because there are some decent Catholics out there. I can't speak against all Catholicism. And Excuse me? Excuse me? Uh, be a man. Okay? And if you're a woman, you have even less reason to use profanity. Uh, women should be ladies. They should be ladylike in their speech. I think there's nothing more disgusting when I, than when I hear a... A fair woman, the Bible talks about, that, that, uh, that's without discretion. It's like a, a jewel of gold in, in the nose of a, uh, in the snout of a pig. You know, yeah, that's what it reminds me of when I see some, you know, pretty young woman or something and she uses profanity. I just think, ugh, you know, talk about a turnoff, major turnoff. So, um, just a little bit of word of exhortation because I see people... They call themselves Christians. Um, I'm going to try to keep this video short. So, you know, I'm a preacher. I like to preach for a long time, but I just want to keep this as a short little video and just say, clean up your speech. Okay. I'm getting real sick and tired of seeing people on YouTube and they just, well, I'm a Christian. You better blankety blank believe it. I'm a good Christian. And, you know, I don't want to say Jesus. I don't want to offend anybody. And what? <sighs> yeah. Okay. There's a lot better ways to do things than using profanity. So that's going to be it. Thank you for watching.